Hi guys, this is Dr. Ahmed Ergin and I'm an endocrinologist and founder of SugarMDs.com. Today I'm going to talk to you about COVID-19, coronavirus and travel. Now Thanksgiving and Christmas right being around the corner, everybody's asking whether it is safe to travel during this COVID-19 also known as coronavirus. Visit the family or gather for holidays, what do we do? I will talk about the travel and will considerations about the celebrations and so forth. Now, as you all know, diabetes and chronic diseases puts you at significant risk for COVID-19. You may not be at significant risk. Uh, you may be younger, but you may cause someone else's death. And if that person is in your family, that's going to be very tragic. Now, let's prevent that. By the way, even if you survive, you may feel very sick and you may be very sick, like sick sick okay and you don't want to be sick during christmas or thanksgiving either so many factors really contribute to being infected uh, and of course we have to keep certain things in mind although we think we know it is always good to have some reminders and i'll give you some tips to uh to how to get through this okay let's get started So, traveling does increase the risk of getting or spreading the COVID-19, and staying home is the best way to protect yourself and others. Now, if you decide to travel, here are some tips. Wear a mask, okay? Please wear that mask. You can wear an ugly mask instead of an ugly sweater, but wear that mask. Maintain social distancing. Again, distance and the duration is the two key components of determining like if you would get that high risk for getting that infection or not so stay away from other people if you think that you have been exposed you know there's no point of putting other people at risk and if you have symptoms of such as fever shortness of breath and or if you have tested positive for COVID-19 please do yourself a favor and do others a favor and just stay away the local community levels of COVID-19 is actually very important to know. Because if you're in a low risk area, you may not be questioning this too much, but if you're in a high risk area or the people who come visit you are living in those high risk areas, uh, that may be a problem. You can find this, this county health department websites will tell you, the, you know, what is the risk or the rate of infection in that area. Now, do you wanna do indoor or outdoor? Yes, indoor gatherings pose a more of a risk, uh, but is outdoor gatherings are totally safe? You know, is that really true? So, I mean, remember, recently White House gatherings happened and almost everybody in the White House got infected. They're also human, and if you don't pay attention, you will catch the infection. The symptoms, as I said, can be severe. And also, number of people really matters. So you don't want to say, oh, well, this is okay, 100 people, everybody has mask, but that 100 people can still contaminate that air, especially if in this indoor area. So number of people matters, distance matters. Uh, so try to even limit the time you spend together too long in a small space, even with the mask. Ask these questions like, did anybody in this gathering attend some other gathering? Did they travel somewhere else? Did they meet other large groups of people? You know, uh, there's some people like social, social butterflies. You can't stop them. They're like everywhere. You know, they just want to talk, 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 and uh, just create a no butterfly zone. Okay, that's like, come on. You know, like sometimes you have to protect yourself from these very nice people who like to talk. Now, wearing a mask at holiday is not as an ideal at all. It sucks actually. Uh, but as I said, just you know, try the ugly mask contest this year and see who wins. Distancing from family members could be sometimes offensive, but I think they should understand because we are really living in a strange and unprecedented times right now. Remember to have hand sanitizers and make sure that you wash your hands frequently. Make sure you do not touch your face. Now, who should not be attending these in-person holiday gatherings? That's a no-brainer. Of course, people with COVID would not be a good choice to have around. <laughs> and uh, people may have symptoms of COVID. They may not have been tested, but every test have false positive and false negative rate. So you never know if they have symptoms. I don't think they should be around because they may have flu, God knows what they have, and they don't wanna, you know, even if it is not COVID, you don't wanna spread that virus all around. 
Of course, people with chronic diseases, with immune dysfunction, diabetes, uh, chronic kidney disease, all uh, put you at high risk. And try to do a barbecue, try to stay outdoors. If you're indoors, try to keep the ventilation really good. Keep the doors and windows open if it, if it is not freezing cold. Uh, try to make it a little bit of EIP this year. Try to limit the number of people that, that you're bringing in. Uh, and if you cannot stand that cousin, just leave that person out. So it's a good excuse, why not, right? You know, tell them not to go anywhere else, you know, like there's no reason of party hopping in a holiday season. Um, one more thing that I want to remind you guys is try to not to have buffet style. Yes, it's nice and easy, but maybe let your mom do the work this, 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 uh, this season and somebody can serve other people so, not ev so that everybody's not on top of each other, right? So other than that, uh, you can do a non-traditional like a virtual holiday, I mean virtual uh, uh, visitation. Uh, which I've seen practical jokers at True TV doing it. Why not? You know, and I think it was fun. Uh, and lastly, I would suggest you know the holiday times are the times that people really go for shopping the last minute. I would say try to be early on and try to even order online. You know, Publix does it, Walmart, Amazon, everybody delivers uh, groceries nowadays. So there's no point of trying to fight for the food in the grocery stores anymore. Just get it online, guys. So, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video. And make sure you subscribe so you can be reminded of all the coming videos.